Well, hey, New Life, Joel here with the weekly update, and I'm tucked away in our bedroom as the girls and family are spread out across our apartment, tackling their school assignments and projects, uh, trying to find a space for me where I can continue to work, shaping messages and working with different people as we continue walking forward as a church. I don't know how you're feeling right now, but I'm kind of in a mixed space. There's some discouragement as we look at the spike in cases that are going on all across our country and the implications of what that means, not only for people's health, but also for the freedoms we would have to be able to move around. And so there's the potential as we continue walking forward into the reality of COVID that we might be experiencing more restrictions on us in order to help create safety for us as a community. And I wanted to let you know, as a church, we're going to respond accordingly. So one of the things that means is we're going to be following the guidelines given to us by our governing leaders because we want to honor them and honor our fellow neighbors by doing what's best to walk safely together. Uh, so we don't know if there's going to be further restrictions than the ones that we already have, but we're going to respond in ways that are honoring other people. We're also not going to give up, even if it gets more difficult. We're going to continue to reach out together as a church and walk together. And so, so far we've been navigating it. Obviously, it's not ideal. We're all longing for the day we can get back to being church together like we knew how when we were able to be in the building and, and walk together. And church is so much more than that building. I totally get it. But we want to be walking safely together. And so we look forward to that day. So we're going to commit to continue moving forward. And we're going to do that as safely as we can. And so within the existing guidelines that exist, we're going to keep moving forward. And so one of the things that we're going to do this Sunday that we're excited about is our third patio service. And we're going to do that again, according to the safety guidelines. So we want to invite anyone who feels safe to come on out to that event. Everyone's going to be wearing their face mask. We're going to be sitting socially distanced apart from one another in the patio. And we're going to have a time of music and we're also going to be doing baptisms and we're going to do that safely as well. And so we've got a couple lined up with some family groups who will be doing the baptisms for their family members. I'm so excited to celebrate with them. I'd invite you to come on out for that as well. But I want to encourage you with this thought as we continue moving forward. You know, we hear the news of spikes and things that might be coming up that could be discouraging. We also hear the news of promising vaccines. And so it's kind of this roller coaster of hope and disappointment, hope and disappointment. But here's what we can know. God is in this with us every step of the way. And there is a day coming where we'll be on the other side of it. And so we're going to walk it through together day by day walking in support of one another. And I just want to encourage you to continue praying for the leadership of us as a church, continue praying for the life of our church, pray that we have impact and opportunity to do good. So I'm going to cut the video off here because I hear the guys outside trimming trees or something and the buzz is in full, full effect. But I love you and I will see you online and outside the parking lot at 3.30 p.m. for our patio service this Sunday. God bless.